Sometimes it's really hard to get creative for dinner, but I like stuffing steak or pork. So I got this great price, $9.22 flat iron boneless steak. It's nicely thin, there's two pieces. Um, and then I got this all natural fresh sweet sausage. I'm gonna brown that up, saute some garlic and onions, and then I already have in this bowl some feta, parm, chopped parsley and scallions, and there's some kale back there. We're gonna make with one, two, three, and four a filling, see, and we're hiding the veggies, into our flank steak. We're gonna roll it, pan sear it, and then we can finish it in the oven. And it's just a little different take, but I'm gonna marinate the steak before I roll it, so we'll get that in a bowl so you can see that. And I'm gonna get the pan on hot right now so we can brown the sausage. And yes, we want all that fat from that sausage to go into this filling with the feta. You can use any cheese if you want to. Got those onions sizzling down, and we're gonna add the, this is kinda of hard with one hand, okay. I'm gonna add the pork sausage and break it up with a wooden spoon. And yes, I'm gonna leave the onions in there and all that fat that's gonna cook down from this sausage in this pan. And actually, I'm gonna go grab the kale as well to add in it right now. Sausage has been added. Just take a wooden spoon, and actually, I have one of these. Looks like that. Just like when you do your tacos and your ground beef. Give it a chop. I want this meat not to be, uh, I want it to be nice and small because it's gonna go for the filling and mixed in with the onions. So we're gonna go right and chop it. Chop, 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 chop. Just added the kale. Uh, the sausage is browned. Gonna mix this up. I am not seasoning this because I'm gonna season it after I add the feta and parm. Uh, also mind that I'm seasoning the meat, so we're going to go light on the salt. So this is just to get everything cooked down before we add it to our the rest of the mix that I have in the bowl over there. So just want to wilt, wilt, not wilt, wilt these greens down with the fat from the sausage, and then we're going to bring it on over and get it in the bowl. Okay, just added the meat, and I kind of want to add it while it's hot so that the cheese melts and it all becomes nice and gooey and ooey and all together. So we're gonna stir this fast. I'm doing this by holding the bowl with half. Okay, just added the meat, and I kinda wanna add it while it's hot so that the cheese melts and it all becomes nice and gooey and ooey and all together. So we're gonna stir this fast. I'm doing this by holding the bowl with half of my stomach as I stir with one hand in video. Talk about multitasking. Um, and then I have my steak laid out here and I just got the butcher twine out and I'm gonna set the camera up so that you can watch me do this but let's get this all together so let me explain what I did um, if you've watched my videos before I have done a stuffed meat before um, I took an aluminum sheet pan and I sprayed nonstick on the bottom the reason I did that was so that I can work with the string underneath if I need to and glide the meat so it makes life a little easy a little lubrication so I put both pieces of flank steak after I cut four strings. I took my butcher twine and I cut four strings and I laid them out and then I overlapped my flank steak so I have it ready to go. I have my filling in a bowl, all mixed, which I've seasoned up with salt and pepper. I've also on here, sorry, on here I've already salt and peppered both sides. We're gonna take the filling, we're gonna do a nice middle layer. Now, I didn't actually didn't use all the sausage and kale. I have some left in the bowl, and I'm gonna cook a box of pasta. Well, not a whole box, I'm gonna cook some pasta, olive oil and garlic, and I got lunch for tomorrow for my husband. So, we're rolling the steak on up, nice and tight, stuffing in the middle, kinda like a shoelace, making the first tie so you guys can kinda see. Once you do the first tie, then we'll go through it again and um, kinda double knot it. But same concept, meat in the middle. Number two, with two pieces of flank, I use four butcher twines. Uh, it's okay that some of it oozes out. And there, we'll clean that up. I'm also gonna tuck the ends in in a minute. So you're gonna continue this down. See what I mean by now the rope's a little bit more pliable, a little bit of spray before we go and sear the meat. Think about wrapping gifts. All right, last one, then I will make this up a little bit better. We're gonna sear the meat. I'm gonna get my pan on, I just gotta wash it from the filling. 
hot pan, I just put a little bit of oil because there is a lot of fat that's on the steak and the cheese and everything. And I had brushed the uh, meat with a little bit of oil. I don't want this to get too uh, greasy and flamey. So as you can see, here's our meat all tied up. You watched me tie it, it's beautiful. We're just gonna sear it on each side. So you just wanna pick it up, set of tongs, putting it down, nice hot pan. And you're gonna sear it on each side for around three minutes. And then we're gonna put it back on that pan. I'm just gonna give a little extra spray because if the cheese starts to melt out, I don't want it to stick to the pan. Here that sizzle. Look at our steak all nicely tied up, getting a hard sear. This just helps lock in all the flavor. You know me, all about the flavor. In the oven at 375 for around eight minutes. I really want this on the rare side because we're gonna eat this tomorrow. Out of the oven and smelling ridiculous, can I just tell you. So we're gonna let it rest, really let it rest till it's almost cold. Then we'll cut the string and I'm actually gonna roll it in aluminum foil and put it in Tupperware so that tomorrow I can just stick it in the oven to warm it up and slice and serve.